in a carefully orchestrated pre-dawn incursion, a battalion-sized paramilitary unit composed of the combined SWAT-trained forces of the state federal police units from Sonora and Chihuahua, Mexico, moved across the border with the United States of America, seized Nogales, and secured a perimeter around an area which Mexican President Felipe Calderón calls the Greater Nogales Counter-Terrorist Zone. All American civilian and official traffic is being turned back by heavily armed Mexican infantry on the main highway connecting the U.S. half of Nogales to Tucson, Arizona. An emergency session of the United Nations has been called. Mexican President Calderon has continued to speak on camera from a remote bunker to CNN International, assuring U.S. citizens that this incursion is an extreme but temporary measure designed to seal in a cluster of drug-financed Marxist revolutionary cells whom, according to unconfirmed Mexican intelligence reports, were taking possession of several large caches of weapons provided by Mexican nationals living across the border in the United States, including, according to the Mexican ambassador to the United States, Arturo Saracar, the chemical precursors of nerve gas, and several portable laboratory units capable of producing significant quantities of biological agents. Highly placed observers in the Obama administration who wish to remain off the record expressed the belief that this extreme and unnecessary action was taken, not because of any lack of cooperation by the American Border Patrol, nor concern about the integrity of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, but because the Mexican president wished to voice extreme displeasure with last month's revelations in Le Monde and Der Spiegel that the United States had designed a secret plan to seize Mexican oil fields in the case that the beleaguered president lost the upcoming elections to his popular and populist Marxist rival. This comes at the worst possible moment for the United States with over 450,000 of her soldiers pinned down on two fronts, both in the ever-expanding Saudi civil war and in the desperate attempt by America to prevent the combined Chinese and North Korean armies from engulfing their positions in the Taehyung, Taeyu, and Tong. A spokeswoman for the Mexican Emergency Powers Homeland Security Council pleaded with the American President Barack Obama and the American people to understand this was a short-lived operation intended only to ensure the uninterrupted functioning of the democratic and legitimate government in Mexico City and guarantee continued stability in the North American continent. Nevertheless, the Vice President has boarded a plane to return immediately from Saudi Arabia and President Obama has cut his vacation in Martha's Vineyard short to confer with the Pentagon and his top advisors. We are receiving reports of emergency mobilization in San Diego and El Paso, and we are already receiving voice messages and electronic mail saying there are tanks and Bradley fighting vehicles rushing south on all the main arteries of the state of Texas. Excuse me. Excuse me. This just in. Troops are pouring over the border into El Paso from Ciudad Juarez. American ranchers on the U.S. side of the border are reporting what looks like troop movement in Mexicali and Tijuana. Excuse me, but we must now turn these airwaves over to the emergency broadcast system. Please stand by.